welcome back to the channel yo in this video here guys i finally picked up this product i had ordered this on amazon but actually something happened to it they got the order mixed up or something so I had to go up in auto zone actually buy this this time this was sixteen dollars and four cents with tax right here as you guys can see sixteen dollars and four cents all right so i want to share that with you guys Go on out to AutoZone and get it. Alright. So here is the Meguiar's Ultimate Insane Shine Paint Gloss. Alright guys, y'all know I'm interested in trying all that new stuff. So we're going to see what it is here on my Grand National. Just going to hit this fender area here. We're going to hit a little bit on this hood to test the slickness. As you can see now, the baller is here is not slick. If the baller grabs here so now we're gonna test it we're gonna see will it slip if i wipe this all right so let's get into it comes out that's right? a thick kind of as you can see here kind of thick like it's got kind of like a citrus smell to it so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna wipe off this fender we'll see how much gloss it gives this is on my beard grand national turbo Alright. See how much gloss this stuff will give here on this area of the car. Sixteen dollars and four cents. And that's with tax and everything. Alright. McGuire's insane shine pink gloss. I was anxious to try this on black first. <laughs> We're gonna try it on a black Nissan too. Since this is single stage. And the Nissan is a clear coat. Ford Explorer as well. Alright. As y'all can see here, it does give a good shine so far. I would use this basically like a wordless wash solution. Especially if it doesn't streak. This is my first time actually using this. And this, from what I'm seeing, it looks very good here on this black paint. And this ain't even the best black paint. But check that out. Stop playing with it. Look at there. Definitely adds a lot of gloss to the paint. I can tell you that. Look at there, y'all. Yes, sir. Stop playing with it. Check that out. Grand National. All right, so now we're going to hit this hood area. As you guys can see, the ball is here. It's not sliding or none of that. So we're going to see how slick this is by just doing the hood right quick in this area. Just to see will it slide. Let's hit it. All right, y'all saw that ball was gripping at first. Now, the paint might not actually be slick enough to slide. You know, I don't know. What that's gonna do? It's been sitting here, ain't no telling what's on the hood. So, may just not be slick enough to slide. <laughs> but you know, we'll try it though, and see what it is, what the deal is with it. What matter of fact, I'm gonna hit it twice. I can feel it getting slicker. Look here. That proves to you guys how slick a product like this actually is. By applying it, you know, still just testing stuff like this. Let's hit it again. Alright. So this really proves, oh yeah, this is very slick stuff, you know. Because y'all saw how grippy that hood was at first. So, you know, if you apply this stuff to it and then all of a sudden the darn baller start to slide, then you know this product is definitely slick. That's one way of testing these products. You don't even need a meter to do that. You can tell it become much slicker. So the slicker it is, the much gloss it has. A meter ain't never right. No way. It read 95, then it read 92, then 97, then 91. Now, a gloss meter don't really read the accurate reading, in my opinion. I go by what the eyes can see when it comes to slickness and gloss. That's what I'm going by. Not now, a meter. It give you different readings. <laughs> you don't know what's one correct, you know. 
So I kind of got out in the middle because they jump all over the place. 91, 93, 97, 99, 92. All right, which one, which one correct, you know? So, all right, so I wiped that clean here. And we're going to see how much gloss. Not necessarily the gloss, how slick it is. Now, when I put this ball in, I can see the, the gloss on this fender and some of this door, man. Look at there. Compare it to back here. I mean, I can see it here. Look at this. It ain't the slickest paint in the world, but you can see the gloss, though. You can see it. Look at there. You can definitely see the gloss. All right, so now let's let's go ahead on and put the ball in. I don't know if it's going to slide or what. So the paint might be a little rough. See, no, not sliding, really. Oh, yeah, it's starting to slide, though. Yep, it's definitely much slicker. See there, y'all? Oh, yeah, it's dried up what it is. Look at there, how slick this stuff is. It becomes dry. It probably was a little damp when I first put the ball in there. But now it's drying up. Watch this. Yep, it's much slicker. Look at there. See that? That's how you can tell how slick these products is. Look at there. See there? Put it here, it won't slide. See? That's on the tip of the hood. Put it back here. <laughs> Put it here. Now y'all see the difference. It definitely gives a lot of gloss and it's very slick. That's how I test them. I tested the areas I white, let it dry all the way through. If it slides, then you know it's very slick. Look at the gloss though. You can tell by the gloss Look for the rest of the hood. Look at that. See there? The fender. Yes, sir. Go on to AutoZone, man. Pick this up. Watch the slickness. This stuff is truly slick. Watch this. Get y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.